It is Brighton nil, Manchester United two, Manchester United Brighton not Brighton at the beach, you know shitting those seagulls for once, you know. Ah, huh. remember last time Brighton when you played us for the first game or the second game of the season, and it wasn't in you beat us. Oh, you ain't laughing now. We played for the last game of the season and we beat you at your ground just like you did with us in the first game of the season last season. Ha ha ha. Manchester United collecting three points. Minus one goal difference. Do you know what? To end the season with a win, with three points, even though everything counts towards the last final game, which is the FA Cup for Manchester United to qualify into Europe. Because, of course, finishing eight, 60 points, not enough for Manchester United to get a place in Europe, not even in the Conference League. But today, Manchester United, it was a game of two different hearts because the first 45 minutes, guys, we who the fuck was we? But the second... 45 minutes, Manchester United found a way to scumbag themselves out of for victory. Scumbag themselves up through this match and find a way to win. Eric Tenog, I just don't know how he did it today. And these players today as well, I just don't know how you did it. But Manchester United players did it. They did it in a way that I think, fucking hell, bro. Like, seriously. How do we get away with these kind of shit? But it's the final game of the season and these players knew that they had to turn up for us. They had to get these three points, you know, to set the momentum going into the FA Cup final. Even though I don't think we need momentum because we're going to lose. We're going to lose to Manchester City. And congratulations to Manchester City for winning the Premier League. With Manchester United today, um, oh my God, like, let's be real. If you look at this first 45 minutes where Manchester United were weird it was weird because to me it was a poor 45 minutes for united you know not being able to keep the ball for more than 10 seconds straight away giving the ball away um and of course struggling struggling at times to retain possession and create opportunities to test the goalkeeper of brighton that first 45 minutes we were pants overall we were shit let's be real the second half where manchester united started coming forward coming strong against um brighton you know brightening them up in the second half that's what we did and the the first goal coming from diogo dalo after the substitution was made bruno coming off and rasmus Hoyling coming on and another substitution for casimiro and Varane to come on as well made a lot those two substitutions that they made had an impact because of course Manchester had a had a striker going forward and it created a lot of opportunities for Manchester United. and of course problems as well for brighton spence Sorry about that, guys. But yes, the first goal, Diogo Dalo making it 1 0 to Manchester. You know what? The ball going a little over the top, and I think Erasmus R- Hoyland touching it. And, and it just travels and finds Diogo Dalo. Dalo having acres of space to run on to forward to the goalkeeper and then finish it off really well. 1 0 Manchester United. And I thought, what a scumbash way to win this game, but we're going to do it. And then United, again, second goal coming. Rasmus running with his 16th goal of the season, um, running with the ball, going forward, striving, striving again, just like the game against Newcastle, and taking a low shot, going through United, winning 2-0 on the dot. And it's a good win, good way to end the season. We've got one more game. Can these boys do it? Now, seriously, boys, can you do it? Can you beat Man City in the FA Cup final and just shut our mouths and say to ourselves that we've kind of had a better season than Arsenal? Yes, which means Arsenal, unlucky Arsenal. I feel sorry for you. Yes, Arsenal not making it, not winning the Premier League, not winning any trophy again. Back-to-back seasons with nothing, bruv. Nothing. I don't even know if they want to care about, I mean, the community shield or anything like that. But yeah, in terms of competing in the league back to back, ended up with zero zilch, nothing, brother. <laughs> but yeah, let me not laugh at Arsenal's ping. I could do it all day long. I'm a back to Manchester United. 2 0 for Man United against Brighton. What does that mean? Manchester United sitting a minus one goal difference, which means overall this season has been a poor season. But to win this game, ending the season, just so that we can be a bit happy and and go into the game next week with something, we shall, it's, it's a good thing. We should, it's a good thing. But United fans, what this means, oh, nothing. Because if we don't win, we don't go qualify for the Europe. It will be a disastrous season. Would the manager remain 
we don't know. Players wise, players wise today, I thought Diogo Dalo played well with and Martinez returning back from injury, getting a good sixty minutes, and he played well. Casemiro with saving shots and as well deflections. We don't know. I just don't know how he how we did not concede, but we didn't. Man of match today has to go to. I would say. I don't know, guys. Um, I look at that match. Maybe Dallo for the goal. Don't give the match. Mox Rashford just for coming on. Joke, man. But well, guys, you let me know who your man the match is and your don't give the match in the comments and let me know what your thoughts in the, of the match in the comments with. Remember to subscribe to Regina TV and smash that like button, guys, and share across all social media platforms. We're live back tomorrow at 8 p.m. for the catch up to do the season review, the player of the season, young player of the season, goal of the season. And all sorts of that as of oh shit, bruv. And of course, the FA Cup final watch along on Thursday. We've got Let's Talk Football with Holler. It is what it is, guys. Till next time, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it united. Your boy is out. Peace.